Welcome on site to the enlarged Cotter Dam. This is a site works update for October 2010. Hi, it's Richard here. Before we go out and actually have a look at some footage from site, I thought I'd just show you a sort of an aerial image uh, to give you a bit of an idea of what the site looks like. You can obviously see the Cotter Dam uh, as it exists now on the right hand side and then the works spreading up there to the left hand side. If we go in a bit closer we can see we've got the enlarged Cotter Dam site offices and car park up at the up the top there. We come down we've got the maintenance and construction area, the workshop all around that area there. Down to the crusher area where the crusher building is and uh, the materials crushed. The quarry is just down over the back there you can't see too much of it. Now that's the main stockpile for the material, the aggregate that's been crushed. That's saddle dams number one and two. And then we've got the concrete batching plant, which will produce the concrete for the Cotter Dam. And of course the main site for the new dam wall, the left and right hand abutment walls. So if we begin our footage now, looking at the left hand abutment wall. So that's the wall which is on the left hand side if you're looking downstream from the old Cotter Dam wall. And there's a, uh, an excavator and a bulldozer there digging a track, access track down that side. There's a drill rig. And if we pan down the benches there on that left hand side abutment wall, you can see all the stabilization. There's still a couple of guys there on ropes who are chipping away and smoothing off those surfaces. And there's a broader shot of the left hand abutment wall. Looking down the right hand abutment wall there to the old Cotter Dam wall and there's a track that's come down this side. There's an excavator there, he's putting in a pad, storage pad for containers and things like that which will, uh, which will be stored there when the new wall goes up. So we go back to our aerial image and we'll now have a little bit of a look at the saddle dam number two, the second of the two saddle dams. And this saddle dam is well and truly progressed. There are these two auxiliary dams to the main enlarged cotter dam, earth and clay dams. And this one, saddle dam number two, is probably about two months ahead of saddle dam number one in terms of its, uh, the progress of its construction. I did an interview actually with Scott Kindred who's the main project engineer of the saddle dams and I'll get that up on YouTube very soon, we'll get that edited. Looking over there to the concrete batch plant which has been put up by our wonderful friends from America and looking back at the aerial photo and now we will have a bit of a look at the quarry site which is over the back of the stockpile there. Now the quarry is uh, producing material on site, so it doesn't have to be brought in from elsewhere and it goes up and is crushed in the crusher building. The quarry won't get any uh, larger in terms of length and width, but it will get deeper as more material is extracted. And of course that material, most of that material is going to be used in the new large Cotter Dam wall. We pan over from the quarry towards the crusher building there and there's a moxie truck coming up the hill here towards the stockpile. Bit of a closer look at the crusher there, you can see some aggregates that have been uh, small stockpiles just around the crusher building and material gets moved up there to the main stockpile. Alright that's a bit of an update for October 2010. We look forward to seeing you on site next month.